So next to 11th one, coming to the basic, all these questions are coming to the basics. Uh, next, what are membership operators? What are membership operators? See guys, I am not discussing about remaining operators. Why? Because arithmetic operators you people may know. Uh, relational operators you people may know. Logical operators you people may know. Bool, uh, sorry. Uh, next, uh, identity operators and bitwise operators. Already we have discussed about previous uh, bitwise operators in previous videos. Everybody know that all these operators which will be used in other languages also. But membership operators are implemented only in Python. So, what are membership operators you need to explain with examples how we are working here ok so next to 12th one is nothing but what are identity operators what are identity operators ok so membership and identity, identity operators means is and is not in and not in so all these uh, four can be called it as an see in and not in can be called it as membership operators identity is uh, not is okay now so these are the basic interview questions so we'll see few more questions till now we have discussed all this question 12 questions from basic part okay so next we are going to discuss about 13th question so till now we have discussed about only basic part of your python now we will discuss about uh, remaining questions what they will ask as a fresher okay as a fresher uh, topic wise we will discuss about in arrays, strings, list, tuples, dictionary. We will discuss each and every topic interview questions. Okay. So now we will discuss about the arrays important questions. Okay. Arrays not first of all how we can accept the data from the keyword. Okay. How we can accept data from the keyword. So there what type of questions they will ask you. Okay. First of all in how many ways in how many ways how many ways we can accept the data accept the data from keyboard in how many ways we can accept the data from the keyboard actually there are two ways so see here the first one is ra underscore input Actually, this is the function which will be used only in Python 2 version. It is not supported in Python 3 version. Okay. And coming to next one, input function. Okay. Input function. So, what is input function? Okay. And it is supported in both Python 2 and Python 3. And uh, this will take any type of data as a string type of data. Okay. Na? So, next 14th question. Okay. 14th question so by using ra input and input you are accepting one value at a time okay now my question is how we can accept multiple values at a time what is the function we have to use okay so that is nothing but a split function okay so it is very very important what is split function what is split function okay by using this split function we are passing multiple values into the multiple variables. Okay. By default split can take a space. Okay. If you want to give any separator in split function you have to mention in single quotes as comma at the rate dollar symbol. Any special symbol can be used as a delimiter to separate your values. Okay. So next term 14, 15th one. So when you don't want to use multiple print statements. Then we have to use format method. So what is format method here? What is format method? So format method. So when you don't want to use multiple print statements. Then we have to uh, discuss about format method. Okay. This is also very very important. And uh, 16th question is nothing but. Uh, we need to discuss about list comprehension. Okay, so what is list comprehension? List comprehension. This is very very important. Explain with example. Explain with example. So 
here also we can use a split function with that you need to accept multiple values by using list comprehension okay so next is 17th one again in list comprehension we have to use format method okay so next is difference between difference between end parameter and separator parameter separator parameter end parameter we know when you want to go for new line then we have to use end parameter if you want to go for new line we have to use a slash and in end parameter or if you want to divide any string you can give a special character into the end parameter and the separator is used in python 3 version it is not there in python 2 version and uh, these two parameters will be worked in only print statement okay in print statement we are using end parameter and separator parameter so that is the reason you need to differentiate between what is end parameter and what is separator parameter so all these questions are nothing but how we can accept the data from the keyword okay so next we are going to see 18th question okay in looping okay looping or conditional statements what type of questions they will ask you so difference between difference between while and for loop while and for loop explain with examples explain with examples okay everybody know that how we can work with the simple if if else l if ladder okay but um, we need to discuss here looping how we can execute while loop and how we can execute for loop okay and we need to discuss about here uh, so that is nothing but break and continue these two can be call it as a jumping statements right explain about explain about break and continue break and continue statements continue statements with examples with the examples okay now so like this we are going to implement the, what we are going to implement break and continue statements okay uh, so actually why i am discussing concept here means most of the people can be confused while they are using break and continue break means if the condition is satisfied if you are writing the break statement whatever the another loop you are having it will not be executed it will stop the execution coming to the continue if the condition is satisfied the number will not be printed but remaining loop what you are having it will be continue okay it will execute the remaining values it will continue the loop until the condition is satisfied okay so that is the difference between your break and continue statements you need to explain with examples okay so these two are very very important but you need to focus on different questions armstrong number palindrome or not reversing of a given number some pattern programs star patterns alphabetic patterns number patterns you need to mainly focus in control structures okay now we are moving for arrays topic in arrays what type of questions they are going to ask you first question is what is an array what is an array explain types of arrays explain types of arrays see here guys uh, single dimension array can be represented by using list but coming to the multi dimension array here also we are using the list but if you want to insert any row if you want to insert any column we have to use numpy module which module we have to use numpy module 